Welcome to Polybridge 3. The game comes out in one week, so thank you to the devs for the early game and the permission to make videos early. There is some new stuff visible right off the bat. There is a eighth material, the foundation, not available this level. We'll find out what it does eventually. The graphics look nicer, and it seems like they've actually streamlined the UI quite a bit. It's a lot more visible. The uh, speed up is a slider, 0.1x to 5x. The uh, art style is more cartoonish. Everyone hates change until they like deal with the change for about a week. But we are back in the early levels, so I kind of want to make a challenge for myself. Can I beat the early levels using only half budget? My budget is 1350, so my superficial budget is like 7,000 something, which I am way over. So let's see if I can save some money with a classic dangling road. First off, does that even work in this game? Because one thing I noticed while like looking around, it looks like they've actually changed up how the physics work. And I'll get more into detail about that later. But for now, I gotta save a little money. So let's see if that means that dangling roads don't work like they used to. Well, the car struggles with it quite a bit. And it got pretty stressed, like 84% here. Oh my, that didn't work. How about a dangling road that's higher up? Okay. There's no reinforced roads either, so I can't make this stronger. How about a real bridge instead? It's pretty cheap, but it does work. And I'm just under half budget. Some people did get it under 4,000 though, so maybe dangling road is possible. Oh, the secret is to like not dangle the road at all. Fun fact, dangling roads actually exist in real life, and this is really close to what they look like, so it's a bit more realistic in the physics. Also, I really like this new level complete screen. See a new metric? Bridge weight. Oh, and there's leaderboards for lowest stress on a bridge. I'm not actually sure how this is measured though, because my max stress was 93%, and here it says 30.47%? I like the concept, but I don't get it yet. Next level is a snowman in a golf cart. Or is that a sheep to get across? If I'm doing half budget, it'd have to be 6,500. Well, this better work. <laughs> okay, noted. I can get further with a l actual dangling road. Okay, but it does still break. Wonder if I can brace the right side up against the wall. So it dangles for way less now. Hold on, maybe it's onto something. Mm, budget says no. Budget now says yes. Oh, there we go. The minor dangling road. You better make it, you sheep. Bitch ass golf cart. But if some of the roads are braced, they don't need to be downhill. That doesn't actually benefit me. They still have to be angled slightly downward just so I can have the wall brace reach the wall. But this provides for a much more capable dangling road and under half budget. I'm doing great on the budget leaderboards, but my stress is terrible. Ooh, the iconic van is back. Everyone loves the van. And everyone loves that my budget is now effectively 8,500. Although I think I'm gonna need a series of dangling roads here. Actually, screw the dangling roads for a bit. I wanna try an idea where the van actually drives on the rock and hopefully doesn't do that to the bridge. Though I will say it looks satisfying when it crashes into the water. Sploosh. Now, one downside of many is that it's expensive, but I'm working on that slowly, getting rid of some over supports. I'm thinking, oh, there's some potential here, as long as it doesn't buckle. Do I have to spend money to attach this to the central joint? I mean, I don't know. Oh god, no, it doesn't help. I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of strengthen the right side road, have a dangle less, and it worked? Oh, I should have made it $56 cheaper. I suspect that the left side is where money can be saved since it rests on the rock, and I was right. Under half budget, hell yeah. Damn, people got this for almost 5,000 though? They may have had a $5,000 budget, but did they have beautiful arches like this bridge? No, I don't think so. Rejoice, I have 18,000 to work with, but steel. Interestingly, they mentioned that steel weighs more than wood now. In Polybridge 2, materials didn't weigh anything besides roads and joints, so now the materials actually weigh something, which is cool. And I'm sorry, school children, Tyler's gotta make budget cuts. Even by making the dumbest looking triangles of all time, I'm still over budget. However, making some undersport saves me money, allowing me to make an actual arch? Is it gonna be enough for the school children to nope? Fall into the river? At least the kids die in a satisfying way. 
Hold on, if I replace these tiny steels on the end with wood, I think they're mostly just stabilizers, so I think that means I can make a better arch. It seemed like it got pretty close last time. Maybe this small change will save the children this time. I can't believe this actually worked. Yo, I got second place for that. Hey, Palippa, what the hell are you doing under 10,000? Huh? You some, do some dangling road crap that just robbed me of first place? How dare you? How dare you? It's okay, I forgive you. I got 13,000 bucks to save an ambulance. Once again, I gotta use this. Oh, there's a rock in the way. I can't use the central joint that easily. It does make for a wonderful support. I do think a second rock support road does make a lot of sense. And this time I'll do like a single steel support. And honestly, I, I don't like the idea of the ambulance just dropping off the road onto the rock. So I think a small connecting road makes sense. This is way, way under budget. I don't expect it to work. And I was right to expect so. Yeah, but like, that just needs a better arch. That barely cost more to get a better support. And wow, that just works. A thousand to spare even. Wait, this is a very easily attainable first place. I have to snatch it. It might be as easy as just replacing one steel with wood. Yeah, it is. That's mine now. Sorry, Matt. I feel like I could defend this position even further. Hold on. It's just this right arch is so sturdy. It's begging to have its budget shaved. Left arch is pretty stretched, but I think I can still lower it at points. Right? Yeah. I don't know what actually is stressed. Maybe I can turn on stress indicator somehow? I turned it on. What is getting stressed? Oh, it's just that. Oh, interesting. Would it still be bad if I lowered the wood on this bridge? Would that transfer more stress here? I mean, it's not. You know what I did to make it work? You see how this first road is at a slightly shallower angle than the following three? It almost creates like a mini arch right in this connection that I think also puts some of the weight onto this road. And for some reason, even though I'm lowering the arch, it's not getting, what the hell? Excuse me? I, that can't happen. I'm not sure if I actually know how to prevent that, so I'll just get it below 11,000 and see if it fixes. Yeah, it fixes itself. Cool. I still feel like this bridge's true form hasn't been realized. Although I do admit it is getting pretty close. Yeah. You see, I can only tweak so much before absolutely going insane. But, eh, like any good tweaker, I, I think I found my goal. Let's see how I did a lowest stress. Somehow not last. That in itself is a miracle. Let's carry on. $25,000 of budget? Polybridge, you are too generous. So naturally, the first thing I'm gonna do is drop it off a cliff. Hopefully stick to landing. This drop seems more safe. Well, at least he didn't drown. Damn it, sheep, use those dumb neck muscles to tumble. Yes, 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 that could work. Now the next bridge will have to be pretty darn strong. I don't expect this to work, but I wanna see if it's close. Oh. Oh, that changes things, hold on. I think at some points this could work. That's close. See, it doesn't even break, it just buckles, so I figure a sturdier support on the bottom is better. Now I just need another bridge. I figured this funny shaped rope could be a nice second half. Assuming it can make it up, you slow core. I think it's gonna get there. Don't bottom out. It didn't bottom out. Let's go. Damn, people got it for cheap, cheap. While this bridge may cost your life, at least it didn't cost me any leaderboard spots. Next. That's a sick new truck. The farmer truck. I love the colors. This is the truck of a man who's driven on a few roller coaster bridges in his life. So, I hope he's ready for the roller coaster ride of his lifetime. I checked, you have good horsepower. Don't pretend like you can't make it up. <laughs> the plane's not even close. Try harder to hit the bridge next time, buddy. What the hell? The cop was speeding. That just begs the question then who polices the policemen? This bridge, that's who. I see that wood is breaking. I see that I can replace it with steel and still be under half budget, so why don't I just do it? Who are you, the steel police? I didn't think so. Second place really at least feels grabbable though. Definitely not first. I wanted to see what would happen if I replaced both steels with road. At first it didn't work, but then I made this fun little bend on the left side and now it gets the police car across. Still not there. 
How do I save a full thousand dollars? I just realized road is a lot more expensive in this game than it used to be. A standard length of road in Polybridge 2 is 200 and a standard length is 300. So both roads gone, replaced with woods again. Third place, but that's still not good enough. Out of curiosity, what if I rework my middle wood section? Instead of having meeting over, it could meet under, and then this could be lowered because of that. And I'll just, I'll get rid of this because I don't think it's needed. Welcome back the diamond to the bridge. Doesn't work. Fine. This could still have merit, it's just the supports look like ass. Come on, cop car. Have to ruin everything, don't you? So this bridge looks absolutely demented, but it gets the farmer across. It's all up to the cop. Well, ooh, he escapes in cinematic fashion. I get second place with an asterisk. Let's see if I can fix that. I turn the bridge into a damn V. That better stand for victory. Oh, it does. The cop handles the bump just fine. So even on unbreaking leaderboard, I got second place. How the hell did Bacon Pancakes have me? What are you doing? So the budget's low again. I got a tow truck and 10,000 to work with. Well, I know that bridges are slightly sturdier when they naturally arch like this. And it looks like it misses the boat. Can I then save the day with wood? Well, probably not, but I'll try. Actually looks really good. I mean, that right there is just an attractive bridge. Get the boat out of the way. Cleanly under double budget. And only a thousand away from first place? How greedy do I want to be? <laughs> We all know the answer is very. Now, I'm not quite sure if this design will actually cater to tweaking much, because there's only so much I can bring the wood in. But this does save some good money here, so maybe I'm onto something. Let's see. It's cheaper. Don't die, don't die, don't. Oh, actually, it's great. Catapulting up the third place. I can do better. Oh, God, this is one cheap bridge. I mean, it looks stupid because it is stupid. Well done. Yeah, that tiny piece broke. I guess moving this in was a bad idea. But I mean, it is damn close. Like, if, even if I can get this to work, I might feel a little bit more confident. Well, it's not. But maybe if I can get this to work, I'll feel a bit more confident. Wow, <laughs> it <laughs> buckled, but 80-80. How hard can $100 be? I mean, come on. I mean, one thing I can do is lower the road instead of raising the wood. It does make the road arch way worse though. And I'm not quite sure how important that is to success. I kind of, the thesis was it's important to success and it seems that it is important to success. Can I mess with the roads at all on the right side where I simply extend the road and extend the road and then just tell it to jump? It's not a good arch and it starts with 38% stress. So I guess not. I mean, the only issue is now is kind of getting up there in price. Which is a bad sign. Is it cheaper to brace it against the wall instead? I mean, yeah. <laughs> is it better? Oh, it is way worse. Horrible. Unless it's balanced and horrible. I mean, it's technically better. No, okay. <laughs> Terrible idea. I tweaked it a little bit more, like micro movements, and got this price. I don't know if this design's doing any better. Look at the stress. I feel like the only way I can improve is by making all of the supports under supports. Then we might be onto something here. Maybe not onto a good clean budget, but hopefully something. Does this have any merit here? It did for a little bit, so maybe there's hope. I think it's all about just following where the break is and then fixing that area. So this broke, that means I just kind of move it out a bit. And I now have the money to do the same thing on the other side. Just barely, I think. Now what break? Oh, it's the same thing. Wait, that's bad. That's probably the worst break for me. The only other thing I can do is redesign. There is one design that maybe stands a chance, and that would be the jump. Saves road money. Before we get to optimize that, I just gotta make sure it doesn't hit the boat. Okay, it doesn't. Other things break. Not good. But I am kind of close to budget if it magically works out. It doesn't seem like it's going to be doing that. There is always the strat of just taking less stress off up the left side and moving it to the middle with a classic thing that looks like this and maybe better arching the right side. It's a lot of money saved. It's better stress. It's still stressful over here. Come on now. Well, there we go. That's a good start. First place. That's a good start. No, I think this can suddenly be better by a lot. I also think the road could be shorter, I th think. Easily. Another hundred down. Come on, keep shorting the road, I think. 
And you see, yeah, it looks like it makes the jump just fine. I also am pretty sure I don't need this wood piece. I think it's, ah, uh, never mind, I need this. <laughs> uh, fun. Classic jokes. Well, why not keep shortening the road? It hasn't failed me yet. One of these times, it'll not make it. Uh, this is not one of these times. One of these times, I'll find the truck's limit, and that kind of looks like it. Anytime he's got to pull himself up like that, he's pretty close. Still can save money, though. I did some more tweaking on the left side. All I did was move the bottom joints in, and it just barely makes it over without breaking. 99.91%. And I hope you guys are excited for more record-breaking and half-budget Polybridge 3, because that's coming very soon. See you in the next video. Peace.